do my best to be a decent. Yeah, the Facebook post was May 31st. This is what happens on Smules. It shows you you and then all the people you sing with, like going around the world. And Alan's pointing out here that he's not singing with anyone else. Well, the John Bray account there with those three burly men in it that he's now broadcasting on his Smule, like on the on his own channel. I've got a picture of that actually. Where is it? It's not showing it me. No, it's not showing it me. Edit, transform. You said transform. Wouldn't do it, okay. Let's try it a different way. Image, and it's called, oh great, it's got a number, it's 62. Nine five. Just look for the six two nine fucking whatever it's called. If only it was a computer that could read numbers as well as words. It's this picture that he's put up. He's put it on his actual Facebook on his own. I feel a bit uncomfortable with it up on my stream, to be honest. That's the picture. He's put that up on the... Uh, on the chuffing video here, look. Try to help... someone. See someone else's point of view. In a room of a hundred people, if I see one person sat alone, I will sit with that one person. You are such a good guy. I will have a conversation with that person. Oh yeah, yeah, Smule have done this, but he's used it in the video, hasn't he? Like, Smule have done this for him, but he's decided to put it on his channel, on a video. Why should anybody be left outside on their own? Hang on, you're just saying no one should be left outside on their own alone, but you're saying you sing alone. And that's a good thing. Or is it a bad thing that you sing alone? What's going on? Everyone deserves to be heard. Their pain, their struggles. Their pain, their struggles, not yours, Alan. Yeah, I get it. Good chuffer you are. It's like, it's, it's, this is the equivalent of when, you know when we gave £15 to UNICEF the other day? This video has probably done more for UNICEF and hurty children than we did with our £15. We live a life Sometimes long, sometimes short. Can be short if you're like Madeleine McCann or John Bennett Ramsey or one of those other, or, you know, Chris Watts' kids. But if you live long enough, everyone goes away in the end. Big celebration chorus for Circle of Life. Celebrating the Circle of Life, of course, isn't it? Celebrating new rebirth. Celebrating the, the rains coming and the the grass greening and the shoots coming up, you know, celebrating the full spectrum and circle of life. And Alan, as he reaches that crescendo of a chorus that we all learnt, know and enjoy from The Lion King, you know, holding up the, the new Babis, holding up the new Babis, Alan says, Everyone goes away in the end. Everyone goes away in the end. But while they're here, but while they're here, while they're here, make them important. While they're here, make them important. It's almost like a personal plea, isn't it? It's almost like a personal plea. Be it your mum, your dad, your auntie, your uncle, your brother. Whether it's your mum, your dad, your auntie, your uncle, your brother, forget them. What about Alan? Why don't you need to, you're not tipping Alan enough. This is what I'm getting from a sense of this. You're not tipping Alan enough. Your sister, your best friend, your worst enemy. 
Best friend or your worst enemy? Is this a olive branch from Alan to me? Or did you expect me to be kinder to him? They're all human. We're all human. Dover and Dolly's mom, you're right. Narcissists do fall on the spectrum of people who do uh, more likely to do something stupid like that. Um, but I don't think Alan's type of narcissist is. I think he's more likely to kill someone else than himself. You see he's Listen, the purpose of this, the Circle of Life song is not to point out that we've all had tough times in life. That's not the purpose of the song. Part of the Circle of Life. We're all part of the Circle of Life. Alan is the manure. The circle of Life. The Circle of Life. Maybe you get a wife. Maybe you get a wife. If you're lucky, a son. If you're lucky, a son, so chauvinistic, um, maybe you get a wife, maybe you have a, a divorce and get another wife, maybe you have another divorce. I have not got a wifey, so maybe I'm, you know, maybe Alan's winning on this one. You know, I've not got a wifey, no children. Uh, but I would I would like to have a crack at that. That would still be on the cards, I hope. But yeah, circle of life, maybe you get a, you know, maybe you get a son, if you're lucky. Uh, the alternative would be a, a daughter, obviously, if, if you're not. So it's a bit of a, <laughs> a, bit of a diss on his daughter there. If you're lucky, a son. If you're unbelievably lucky, a daughter and a son. Oh. Remember to bring his daughter into it and to make her feel special as well there. With If you're unbelievably lucky, even more lucky than I was before when I had the son, then you get a daughter and a son. Obviously, I still want the son. You watch them grow. You watch them learn. <laughs> But you never turn away from them. Oh my God, have they turned away from him after all this non-skate stuff? Do you think they're turning away from him? Do you think this is an impassioned plea to his children? Like, what's going on here? You never turn away from your children. Do you, don't you, Alan? They're always your child. They're always your child and you're always their dad. Even if they're 55. Did he say even if they're 55? Yeah, and he just, it's irrelevant whether they're your child or not. I agree, totally agree. But when they're 55, you might think differently over, you know, how you need to parent them. <laughs> 55, even when they're 55, they're still your child. After that, though, 60, they're on their own. But 55, they're still still my little baby. Still my little babies. Even if they're 55. So, shut up. Behind the circle of life. With a fortune. With a fortune. You become a child, a teenager, in your 20s, <laughs> a mother, a father, auntie. In your 20s, a mother or father, you become a child, a teenager, in your 20s, a mother, a father. Is it? Is this the circle of Alan's life? Not, I think I have to, you've got choices. Your uncle, grandparent, Uncle and grandparent. Great grandmother, great grandmother. Life is going pretty quickly now, actually, in this analogy. <laughs> The end of the circle of life. Then you see the end of the circle of life. So that's what it's been about for Alan. The circle of life is reflecting on his own death. That's not the purpose of the song. That's not the motif and the you know it's supposed to be a, a joyous number about renewal and rebirth. <laughs> and that even when things come to a close, the circle of life is about the next step, isn't it? It's about little Simba and you know it goes on and part of you goes on into the world and the things you did and the you know the little path you took and the you know hopefully leave some good in there it goes on doesn't it pass it on to the next generation <laughs> that's the point of the circle of life isn't it alan's made it seem like you know it's about you get old and then you die so fuck you but in the joy that when you see a little baby it makes you smile because you see you at the beginning the circle of life. Right, he's got the point at the end there and he's managed to state it clearly. <laughs> but at the end of it, when you're going to die, you see a little baby and it makes you smile because you know that... <laughs> That's you at the start of the circle of life. That's not you, you're about to die. 
That's somebody else. <laughs> I'm glad because all of this for three minutes there it was like fucking dour um, everyone you know goes away <laughs> but you see you you see you but in the joy that when you see a little baby when you see a little baby you feel joy it makes you smile it makes you smile because you see you because you see you douche at the beginning the circle of life. Oh, it's, oh, you're at the beginning of the circle of life. <laughs> you're not, you're at the end. The baby's at the beginning of the circle of life. You're in that baby. You want to be in that baby, you fucking nutter. Stay away from that baby, you. <laughs> he wants to be in that fucking baby. Stay away from that fucking baby, you. <laughs> he wants to be in that fucking baby. Get him away from that fucking babis. When you see you at the end of the circle of life. When you see you. <laughs> makes you smile. Because you see you at the beginning of the circle of life. I'm glad he got the point of it at the end. It did sound like he, he didn't understand it for a long while there. Most of it. My favourite bit was everyone goes away in the first Jesus chorus. Christ. Try to help someone. Try to help see someone. someone else's point of view. Alan has, Alan has never tried to help anyone. <laughs> In all the years he's been on YouTube, he hasn't considered doing anything for charity whatsoever. <laughs> did he do? Maybe he did a charity thing. Maybe I'm like, you know, maybe I'm dissing him on that because I haven't checked it out. I just don't think he'd <laughs> try to help someone. Like once I gave a tramp a cigarette, so shut up. In a room of a hundred people, if I see one person sat alone, I will sit with that one person. What? <laughs> hundred people in the room. Alan walks in. I'm going to find the one person that's on their own, and that's because they're vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Seeks them out. I will have a conversation with that person. <laughs> I will have a conversation with that person. So don't you tell me I'm a bastard on the internet. I've been into the pub before. No friends of my own. <laughs> Look at all the groups of people sat together and think, probably going to be awkward trying to sit with them, isn't it? Because they're already in a group talking to each other. Oh, look. This poor fucko is on their own. I'll sit next to them at the bar. Poor fucko at the bar. And I'll start telling them, I'm Alan, I'm the armchair detective. What do you do? Oh, I work at the... Anyway, look, I'm on YouTube. Have you ever watched YouTube? I said, sometimes, shut up, you. I'm going <laughs> to... Alan going on about Alan all night and this poor fucko at the bar has got to listen to it. <laughs> I will talk to that one person. Because you've got no friends and you can't join up with any other groups. <laughs> Why should anybody be left outside on their own? They're not outside, they're in the pub. You, you went in the room with them, there's a hundred people. They're not outside. You're inside. <laughs> Everyone deserves to be heard. Everyone deserves to be heard. <laughs> what? Said the, said the crackhead outside McDonald's. <laughs> I heard you, I just don't give a fuck. Their pain, their struggle. We live a life sometimes long, sometimes short. But if you live long enough, if you live long life, enough, then you see the next generation and you start living through them, and it's wonderful. If you live long enough, goes away in the end. everyone goes away in the end. <laughs> like your fucking Bram Stoker's Dracula, and all your friends are dead, and you have to come over in a coffin to the new world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the UCU at the end is insane, isn't it? It's it's narcissism at the highest degree because <laughs> you don't see someone else or like, you know, your grandson or you know, you see some of you in them, but you see you. <laughs> it's me again. Don't worry, you're not going to die a horrible death on your own. You're going to be reborn as 
Jesus and come back and you're going to see yourself before you die so you know it's all happening, you'll be fine. <laughs> That's me there. It's not me, it's somebody else. All right, well, it's somebody else, but they look quite a lot like me, so it might as well count as me. I think they're going to name him Alan. <laughs> Yes, my oh, Jesus, that's me. And then, like, we should do this on the main battery exhausted, shouldn't we? But, like, what is going on here? Questions that at one point brought the murder on aliving. Not sure. He does this poll that. So you have a choice. Murder. So your choices are murder on aliving. I'm sorry I've got to use the word on aliving because you can't put the S word in. He's wrong. So you, you can say these things on YouTube. It's just about the content and the context of your content. So what will happen is you might say suicide and then YouTube might flag it because automatically they might have an... They used to. They probably don't have such a strict automated system on that these days, but they do. You know, they might flag it. Or you, you have to choose for yourself whether your video is controversial in any way. You've got like a button click if you think it contains violence or it contains swearing or if it contains um, stuff that's shocking or, you know, you've got buttons you can click. So you click those buttons and then it decides, oh, well, that's not suitable for advertising if you've gone over the line here. But if you haven't and you've spoken about these things in a normal way, then you can just say, okay, can I man manually review that? And it will man manually review it. And then if you pass the manual review, like some of mine with Alan even get yellow piss marked piss mark monetization can't monetize the content can still go up it will still go out it's just that it won't be shown to as many people and suggested to as many people so i fight that i ask them to review it and sometimes it goes green and then like it goes better and sometimes it doesn't and it pl plateaus out um but you can talk about it it's like alan thinks that these funny keywords that youtube will shut him down for and he makes the audience believe that as well which is even more weird Choice. Um, but what's creepy here is that he's doing a poll He's done the case, they've listened to the, the story, and then he's doing a poll with the audience to decide what they thought happened. And your choices are murder, suicide, or... On aliving. Sorry. Or you're not sure. Or you're not sure. So that'd be fun. There's a fun poll we can all do. Do you remember when we did the one about, we did the tier list for the favourite crisps and chocolates? We did chocolate, didn't we? We didn't, haven't done crisps yet. Favourite chocolate. I put some polls in chat. Would you like Aero or would you like a bounty? You know, that was fun. This one you can choose whether you thought it was murder or suicide, so that would also be fun. Kaka will get a score. Murder on a living. Not sure. I think what happened is, after watching this fucking podcast and it being, like, you know, a shit show... Actually, he used that word about me, didn't he? But, like, this is the like a really bad stream. You can dress up as Game of Thrones, but the stream is bad. You just watched a podcast. Yeah, somebody else's. I did it today a bit, didn't I? But like the stream is bad. Yeah, so I think he kind of felt that at the end. What's he doing here and what it's on? To find her final facts. A potential treasure trove of personal thoughts and con. He's doing stuff while it's on. He's on his phone there. He's getting texts. Something's going on. You know, he's not paying any attention. It's a shit stream. And I think he kind of knows that, yeah? So I think at the end when he's doing this poll and asking the people in the chat, like, he obviously doesn't respect those people in the chat, does he? Like, he thinks they're fucking idiots. Whiskers, I'll tell you what, do you think it's murder or not? <laughs> and, like, this is a tragic... Mom. It's not just the, the murder that's the, tragic. Uh, it's, right? it's, it's not just the murder that's tragic. It's the fact that this is his content now. It's for the last half hour. I'll just ask you in a poll what you think, and you'll say it. And then I won't care, and then that'll be the end. <laughs> like, so you have a choice: murder, on aliving, or you're not sure. Kaka will get a score. Murder, on aliving, not sure. I'm going to put a poll up. Murder. Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. Yes or no? Do you think if I steal Torchy's intro, that I'll get done for it? Because I feel like I used to have an intro at the start of my episodes, just like a little drum beat thing that I made and the battery exhausted words. Do you think if I put Torchy, do you think if I got a torch on my head and went, Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy, 
and then played that at the start of every battery exhausted from now on. Just that little clip, I could have it as my intro. And do you think that would piss him off? Like, this content is tragic okay. here. What happened to the do Game of Thrones see, fun? Those of you with laptops, you'll be able to vote in a poll. You can do it on your phone. Was she murdered? Yes, no, or not sure. There's a poll in chat. Poll in chat. Do you know how to find the poll? Some of them are writing murder, not sure, murder. He doesn't want them to write that. He wants them to do the poll. But, <laughs> but other than that, you decide in chat as well. Murder. Oh, he does want them to do that. He's reading it. Murder. He didn't do the poll. Someone else did it for not him. sure. This is why he thinks it can't happen on the phone. He doesn't know how it works. Covered up murder. But he hasn't got anything to say about it. It's not, it's not like a conversation they've had for another two hours at the end of the podcast. It's like the pod, the thing, the reason it, listen, the reason this doesn't work as a, as a format for him is because when you watch a documentary and a podcast, they fill in all the information because they properly researched it. They give you all the information in an intelligent way and they tend to lead you toward a conclusion. You know, they want to conclude their program. It can be open leave you indecisive, but they tend to want to conclude things in a certain way. So the documentary would be from a slight angle, maybe. You know what I mean? Um, and for this, the angle is obviously, she, maybe she was murdered. And so now everyone's just going to say murder. And you don't have much, like, if... As a true crime channel, like, as a media... If you wanted to analyse the media and, like, analyse the, the documentary, you can do that. You, know, you can have a good chat at the end of a film, can't you? But really, in terms of the case... The case has been done and documented and solved by the documentary itself and that podcast he was playing. So Alan is surplus to requirements here on his own show because he's got proper media people to do it for him and so he hasn't got anything to say. Definitely murder. I should have done this on Battery Exhausted. I can cut it and put it up there. Well, so far, 75% of you think murder. Only four percent say not murder. I said, means you uh, think you're unalived, does that? I said, doesn't know unalived. But twenty-two percent no, are unsure. I said unsure to make it so, more difficult for him. To, I thought if loads of people said unsure, then it would make it more difficult to him to fall on the side of the most popular conclusion. <laughs> I've never, I've never realised it was that clear cut in your minds. Seventy-five percent of you would discount the twenty-two not not sure. And of the ones that made a decision, nearly... Mel's not back, but I imagine getting a scan takes fucking ages in the hospital and they like wheel you up into a corridor or into a place and then like you're waiting for ages. Like getting a, you know, going to get your, if I go for an x-ray and go in the waiting room, like it takes ages. But I also imagine that she's probably quite tired and they probably, you know, whatever drugs they give her, probably make her go sleepy. Um, so maybe she'd been sleepy. Over 90% of you think it was murder at the ones that showed. She have a poll. Only... She have a poll to see who thinks she's sleepy. Who thinks it was murder. A few think it's on their living. Yet... <laughs> I think you can do it on the phone. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not. Can you do this? Can you do that poll on your mobile? I don't know. Where's the conversation? You guys the... have decided it's murder. You, our study group, that have watched this for six hours, have come to the conclusion that you agree with Galiza, her mother, that it's murder. Most and... of you think it's murder. But there is a fifth of you that are not sure. Yeah, you can online. Okay, so... It's now gone up to seventy eight percent of you think it was murder. Seventy eight percent of you think it was murdered. Yikes. I you know, I, I personally I don't know. <coughs> He's on his phone. <coughs> I'm not looking at the poll. Something's going on. Who's Bobby McGee then? <laughs> I don't know who Bobby Me. McGee is. Maybe it's something to do with the, the, the 
Case. Gill and Bobby McGee. I don't know, Bobby McGee. Well, there we go. So, to end the series, our study group think it's murder. But are they ever going to catch him? him? Even if it is murder, right? So, are you sure it's a man? Are they ever going to catch him? No. Him. This would be an all-time mystery, will not it? It would be fucking incredible if Alan had done a murder, they'd made a documentary about it, and he showed it on his own channel and then tried to solve it. Just like McCann's. It's going to be an all-time mystery. Hardly any of you believe that Sean alived herself. <laughs> I didn't watch any of the stuff that he broadcast about this, but I'm thinking to myself, right, wouldn't it be fucking weird if the Game of Thrones stuff was some kind of um, oblique reference to something in this case? <laughs> uh, it seems like a really fucking weird choice. To, uh, did he just order this thing off Amazon, put it on and said, this makes me look like I'm in Game of Thrones. There's an idea for the stream. I'll make it Game of Thrones themed and then we'll finish off this murder. You know, no, it seems like a really weird choice. Like why has he gone for the fucking Iron Throne, which itself is spilled with blood, isn't it? <laughs> it's built of knives. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Game of Thrones, known for its brutality and its overt sexuality. <laughs> like, why would you make this choice? Unless maybe you're a murderer and you've got a cryptic message about the murder and you feel like you're king murderer with your scary iron throne. <laughs> What's going on? Out of 100, I believe that Shiona lived us up. 3%. Oh, we, we'll reiterate this sack thing like you said in, in chat sack thing like this this has got a drawstring and little eyelets it's not some tunic <laughs> it's not really a game of thrones feel it's just a hoodie with the arms cut off okay guys i think that's about it I don't that's the conclusion then you asked them what they all thought they told you what they thought that's it then. Fuck it. That's done. I don't know what I can do with Annie. I mean, we've done a five-part series. There's no more you can do. You've been watching the documentary. Haven't you got anything else to add? Have you got any other information you brought up? Doing any detective work? No. Uh, if we can get someone on to interview, I'll do another episode. Uh, if I can't get anybody to interview, I think we've gone as far as we can. You won't be getting anyone to interview these days, mate. They'll look into you, they'll look, Google you and... Well, uh, we can say that you believe this is a cover-up for murder. And a lot of it points that way. But the, the, official, the official line now, after all these years, is it, that she on her life herself. That's what it said in the documentary, anyway. But those same policemen think nothing of the fact that her phone was wiped and a computer is what they think nothing of that. They still say there's no suspicious circumstances now. It's like he's telling well, you what happened yeah, in the that documentary. That is suspicious, right? If a phone's been wiped and a computer's wiped, that is suspicious. Being found dead on a beach is suspicious. <laughs> Detective. Single white female on a beach. On a, on a... Good one, Alan. And I want to look into the state of YouTube. This is brilliant at the end. The YouTubers. I don't want to talk about anyone. I just want to do it. I said I promised to see this done. And we've seen it through. I said I promised to see this done and we've seen it through. I decided to take a day off tomorrow. I decided to take a day off tomorrow. To get my head straight. So To get my head straight. But I wanted to finish off Annie. I was going to take today off, but... I wanted to, I said I promised to see this done, and we've seen it through. It's a good one, yeah. Like, they could have watched that on Sky News' own channel. They didn't have to use you to watch that. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to gather my thoughts. Gather my thoughts. And see you on Friday. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Thanks for watching the Armchair Detective.
and we're doing uh, we're doing what we do best, which is study crime. All we want to do is stay in our damn lane and be left alone to study crime. That's all you want to do. That's all I want to do. I don't want to do drama. I don't want to talk about anyone. I just want to do crime. In, in this video at the start, he talked about that woman. That's how we started on this today. He was going on about that woman, wasn't he? In Australia, and a. And he just said he just wants to do crime, not like when you do crime, you're a criminal. I don't want to do drama. I don't want to talk about anyone. I just want to do crime. On Friday, I'm going to look at this terrible thing with Gannon. So he's not going to do this because he'd be fucking insane to. Do you know what this is? Gannon's in Zelda, but it's not that. I can't even spell, can I? Someone was murdered. I think it's a young girl. I don't know if that's a young girl. I'm a bit confused. 11, 8. Is it a boy? I'm confused. Anyway, someone was murdered. I thought it was a little girl. I, anyway. Um, killed by his stepmother. It's a little boy. Right, so Gannon was murdered by his stepmother. And then one of the a YouTuber got hold of the video of their autopsy and put it on their Patreon account and charged people money to see it. And like, that's really bad, yeah? Like, maybe I should be covering this. Like this story, you know, it's a YouTuber story, isn't it? But it's a bit bleak for me. Um, everyone's angry at this person, true crime YouTuber. So that's what he's talking about. I can't get it out of my mind. When when the case... I can't get it out of my mind, he says. <laughs> I bet not. Yeah. What have you done? Paid to see the pictures? Gone with Gannon. I, I couldn't do the trial because I, I, I became to know Gannon, you know? I, I become to know Gannon. You couldn't do the trial. This is his attempt to say that the reason he didn't cover this is because he felt so emotionally attached that he couldn't cover it. He's such a deep, sentimental man. This is exactly what I said about why, why I didn't want to do true crime in general. I said I researched a case. Remember, I researched a case. I don't want to say exactly what because then Alan will do it on his channel. But um, a girl that was murdered didn't like the the script I was writing, the things I was looking at, just decided I wanted a day off and then I decided not to be a true crimer. Um, Alan can't stop thinking about this. I imagine he's like seeing the pictures and he can't stop thinking about it for some reason and he's going to try and paint out like he's such a good egg here, but... And what's going on with Gannon being made into this travesty on YouTube? But it's right up his street, isn't it? Dead kid, YouTube. Means I have to do an episode on this. I have to look at the YouTubers. I have to look at the YouTubers. I have to look at the YouTubers. It's almost like he's looked at the fucking pictures, isn't it? Of very little morality and very little empathy when it comes to making money. Why do you have to do that? I didn't know about it until you brought it up and I had to look at what it was because you were talking about it. I don't have to do it. I don't want to do it on my channel. I'm not probably not even going to talk about it at all. Like, I know that YouTube is a chuffer. It's obvious because of what they've done. It's on the news. What do I need to say? And I know I'm one. I know I'm a YouTuber. Sorry, what? It was look at the YouTubers of very little morality and very little empathy when it comes to making money. And I know I'm one. I know I'm a YouTuber. But what was shown should never have been shown. And I want to look into the state of YouTube. Obviously, I've looked at the state of YouTube on my side of things personally. Oh, it's yeah about you now. What? The state of YouTube on your side of things personally, you mean your own channel? Last night, but what about... Is it, he means his, like, his big rant last night about clearing his name. Getting like out of order, is, is YouTube 
so badly controlled that it's out of order. This, this is what we need, Alan. We need you. This man who's dressed up like this with the Game of Thrones behind him, who spent an hour and a half playing some Sky News stuff about a murdered woman, did a poll about whether you thought she'd killed herself or not, and then has brought up this con concept about this dead kid in the pictures. We need you to audit YouTube to see if it's all right. I bet they're beating down your door, aren't they, Alan? I bet they've heard you say this on their, the bots, the robots have heard you say it. And they've reported back up to YouTube head office. Alan Vinicom's available to help us audit YouTube. Let's get him on. <laughs> Alan Vinicom's become available. Oh, <laughs> we can do with him. Fly him over to San Francisco. Google head office, Alphabet head office, get him up there. He's going to watch some YouTube. He's going to tell us what he thinks and then we'll... You know, we'll put it into action, I suppose, in some way. He probably don't have to fly him over. We can just get him to watch it from where he lives. He'll do a video for us and then we can take notes. Why don't we have him as like the face of YouTube? We can give him a, like authority. We can give him a badge and say he can be YouTube police and he can go around and police YouTube for us. If he doesn't like stuff, he can make a video and we'll just delete their channel. <laughs> YouTube itself going down the tubes. The irony. It's grotesque in a lot of ways, isn't it? Look at what you're doing. You're dressed up as People game. can say anything about anyone they like. They can show disgust. What happened to free speech? <laughs> he certainly reversed tail on the free speech thing he was doing, hasn't he? Free speech denied to AD, but not to hate channels. AD, I'm free at last to tell you I have Chris Wass letters. What? <laughs> D AD dehumanised. Support free speech now before it's too late. Frankie Rusek versus Alan Vinicom. The reality from AD. Free speech. The end of free speech. <laughs> now it's like anyone could say anything and it's fucking awful. <laughs> Just in pictures if they want. They fight over subscribers. They fight to get dominance. That's the Game of Thrones thing then, is it? Is that what's inspired this? You feel like it's in some way a Game of Thrones. Who am I in the Game of Thrones then? Let's do this. Let's do this. You're in chat. It's late. Who am I in Game of Thrones? Don't you dare say I'm Joffrey. My sister says I'm like Joffrey. Don't you dare call me Joffrey. Who am I in Game of Thrones? Who are you going to be? Who wants to be Brianna of Tarth? I'm not being the, the dwarf. He doesn't come out of it well. No, <laughs> fucking straight on with it, curious cat. Straight in with it. No, I'm not being him. He does get to do bonk the prosties. Bonk the prosies, doesn't he? I, I, I'd wanted to say Jamie Lannister, but because he's heroic, but then he sleeps with his sister, which is not good. I don't want to be doing that. That's not on. Uh, oh, he looks heroic, but he's not clean cut heroic, isn't he? He loses his hand. John, oh, I'm Jon Snow, aren't I? Of course, I'm Jon Snow. That's who I am. I'm Jon Snow. I mean, I've got a dad, but. Or maybe I'm the blacksmith one who we all really know is the king's son, Baratheon's son, but he never really comes to prominence. It bodes that he might, and then he never really does. That doesn't sound like a good arc. Jon Snow, I'd have to be Jon Snow, won't I? Chuffing around with my big sword. Someone did a Photoshop of my face on Jon Snow once. It's on my Facebook. We know who Alan is. Alan's Reek. Do you remember Reek? Say anything to get more viewers. And now we have this put in pictures of a little gallon behind a paywall. Behind a paywall. He's angry that he had to pay to see them. <laughs> when I, I was felt sick when I read that. And, and now you've got national and international media picking it up. What's going on with his eyes? He looks like he's sleepy. And a YouTuber that we've spoken to in the past 
who came to prominence with one case of um, Ventures with Purpose, but never nothing since, struggling to maintain, you know, her, her figures, decides to go this far, this far. So we've seen... Has he had that woman on his show in the past, you think? We've seen YouTubers go as far as core people, people, a pedo. <laughs> he said the word. In the same week, we've seen YouTubers. Oh, right. So, so of, now I am basically, what he's trying to do is he's trying to put me and that woman in the same box <laughs> that I would charge you pictures for some autopsy of a child. Because I said that. Well, I didn't, because I didn't say that I had to be like, a naked child. Naked child? I didn't know they were naked. I suppose they are naked, aren't they, if they're in the autopsy? I didn't think of that. Alan, obviously, that's come to prominence now, the fact that they're naked. The limits have been reached. The gutter is where we are. It's where you are. And it's sad, you know, it's sad that the, the limits... I know people always push the limits. <laughs> That was a weird thing to say. I know people always push the limits. Like, it's bad because the limits. Oh, it's, it, I know they push the limits. It's like he's just linking words in a bit of a word salad there. I don't think he really knows what he wants to say here. What? The world in, the world of journalism entire. I mean, YouTube people, we're not journalists, but you know what I mean? The world of journalism entire media has some pretty grimy places. If you think that's the lowest, Alan, you've got no idea. Like, I think you do have an idea. I think it does get a lot lower than that. I think you do have an idea. But YouTube and its limits, you know, it has limits. It's enforced by YouTube. So this person has been admonished. They've probably been properly admonished, haven't they, in some way? I mean, they didn't put that content on YouTube, so YouTube probably don't have any jurisdiction on their Patreon. But, um... but we've got people prepared to call anybody anything it's you to again, get is one it? up on them. Is it you again, Alan? And you've got creators prepared to show anything to, to get what? Like? Again, it's like this woman showed this thing. I did this thing against Alan. We're in the same box. Views. It's fucking Funny. weird. Manipulation How tactic. Do they sleep at night? I, I sleep fine. Well, I don't actually. I've been insomniac, but you know what I mean. In principle, I don't worry about and all you. All their accusations amount to nothing. They've all had to backtrack. Oh yeah, AD, you've got hard drives. No, I haven't. They all have to backtrack. And then they go, oh, wow, well, perhaps we judge day two too soon, right? Yeah. Too late now. We judge. Wishful thinking, that is wishful thinking. Oh, wow, well, perhaps we judge day two too soon, right? Too late now. You judge me. Yeah. Too late for Gallon's mum and dad now. The horror is out there. The horror is out there. Yeah. You did it. You put it public on Smule can't take it back you can't take your accusations back you can't take the pictures of Gannon out of people's minds can't take the picture of you singing with that kid out of people's minds so I'll be looking at that on Friday and see, I'm always trying to do he'll be looking at it I bet he's been looking at it already things <laughs> I never I'm never sorry what Alan so I'll be looking at that on Friday and see, I'm always trying to do things. <laughs> I'm always trying to do things. <laughs> what? I never, I'm never like a, I don't know, like an evangelist. I want things to change. Evangelist. Where's that word come from in his vocabulary all of a sudden? What happens with Alan is he sees a new word. Sometimes someone writes it in a thing and he'll learn it. He'll read it and learn it. And then he'll incorporate it into his own language. Because he'll look at the word and he'll think, I don't know what this means. So he'll have to go and Google it sometimes. Not always, because sometimes he just doesn't care, but, you know, sometimes you want to, uh, you know, I need to know what that word means. You'll find out, and then you'll use it again later. Like, it becomes part of his... He did it with some of the stuff I said. You know, you, the, I used the word agencies in one of my videos, and then he was on agencies in his next video. Like, so this is why I think he's got a supporter, maybe a new supporter who's giving him some money, and they are an evangelical Christian. He's on YouTube. But I can't do it, but I can try. You're not going to fix YouTube, no.
81% of you think it was murder. 81% of you think that Annie was murdered. Thanks for taking part. I guess on Friday we're going to ask you if YouTubers are taking themselves too far. Because that girl posted the pictures of an autopsy and charged people to see them and I revealed Alan Smule and we are so alike. <laughs> because it's like the Wild West. I'm the sheriff. I don't want to live in the Wild West. Fuck off then. I want to live on a a ranch <laughs> with my friends. <laughs> that's that's quite Wild West themed. <laughs> a ranch. <laughs> If you don't want to live in the Wild West, moving to a ranch is going to fuck you off because it's the most cowboy thing I can think of. <laughs> if you don't like the Wild West, why don't you go to like Tokyo or something? It's very different out there. Nothing like the Wild West. <laughs> a ranch. <laughs> You'll have to wear cowboy clothes. They'll be doing cowboy stuff. You're going to fucking hate it, mate. It's the most Wild West place I can think of. Uh, a ranch <laughs> with my friends. You haven't got any friends. Well, the cows. All the, all the spanners can be the cows, the cattle. Alan's the herd, head cowboy, and they're all the cattle. A ranch <laughs> with my friends. Alan's ranch. Themselves too Are you far. getting this? Is there anyone still here? Are you getting this if you all gone to sleep? I've got eight viewers. A ranch. Because it's like the Wild West. <laughs> I don't want to live in the Wild West. No. I want to live on a... A ranch. That's so Wild West. With my friends. It's just unbelievable. I'm thinking of, Thank like, you, you know, when I hear ranch, I'm thinking of cowboys, I'm thinking of cattle, I'm thinking of riding horses. And Alan's like, I didn't want this. I wanted, I said I didn't want the Wild West. Yeah, but Alan, this is the ranch. <laughs> the Wild West. If YouTubers are taking themselves too far, because it's like the Wild West. I don't want to live in the Wild West. I want to live on a a ranch <laughs> with my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks for your support this week. I do, I do obviously, honestly appreciate it. But I am taking an extra day off because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. That's the truth. I'll see you on Friday, though. Like, one of the nicest techniques is to grind you down. If I have to stand outside in the fucking rain all night, I will stand outside in the fucking rain all night and you will quit. You'll walk in, you'll go, you'll go inside. I'll stand in the fucking rain all night for another 12 hours just to make the fucking point. You know, I might not be able to run the fastest, but if I have to keep running, I'll find a pace and I will just, I know I can't do this. I'm not very good at, um, uh, you know, if you had to run a marathon, I would fucking hate it. It'd be the worst thing. I'm not very good at long distance running, but if, if you give me my own pace and you're not pressuring me, I will just keep going. And I, like part of the, um, you, uh, Mel might not, I don't know what's going on with Mel. She might have fallen asleep or she might have gone scan and like while she didn't scan, they might have put the phone away. So and we'll give it a little bit longer, but yeah, like eventually I have to turn off the stream and hope that she's just okay. Uh, and she should be in bed anyway, because if she's poor list, then staying up all night to four in the morning watching me on stream is no good. So yeah, we'll finish soon. Um, but yeah, Alan, the narcissist and grinding you down. Like if you're in a room with them and they have, you have to listen to it, or like you know if they're in your in your life and you have to listen to it and put up with it, like it does grind you down. 
But in terms of this content creation thing on YouTube, like we've ground him down. He's got Martin, he's got all these other people, you know, he has to pay attention to all that bollocks. And like, I think I've won in that. Like he goes on about the eight hour streams, oh, eight hours, because it's getting him tired. It's grinding him down. So like narcissist toolkit, grind you down, gaslight you, doesn't work. Solid stone, still here. Right, that's a win. Good night. But there was a cheeky smile. Quite a revealing cheeky smile. At the end, good night. You a cheeky smile. So this rest, this like tiredness, this, oh, I, I'm so tired, poor me. He's got something on his mind that he'd rather be doing. He found his own stream boring that night. So he's got something on his mind that he'd rather be doing, getting off and doing that. That's what, I imagine that's the case. A little smirk, yeah. A little Jupiter's delight. Maybe he's not that tired. Maybe he thinks something, you know, maybe he's got some secret plan. He's going to put into action some weird shit. Like, it is possible that Alan goes like up to a weird level of narcissism where he starts doing weird shit. Yeah, don't give him any tips though from Dolly's one. He had to go and make his bed, literally screw it together quickly for the photograph. Who made the bed? Who put it together? Who screwed it together? I could carry on like this all night though, to be fair now. Now that I thought, now I put myself in the state of mind that we're just doing a chill, long stream. Um, I could I could stay like this all night. Uh, I was looking at this the other day, where is it? What was interesting to me is when Alan first started, he predicated a lot of his content on the Goncarlo Amaral book or perspective, maybe. Um, and I did I did that review of Goncarlo Amaral, Amaral. I read his book on the internet and like covered that when I did my Madeleine McCann stuff. Um, Alan's obviously watched a documentary about it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just interesting that there's, there's a similarity there. Maybe he's angry about that as well. Gets on to Chris Watts pretty quick. Where was this thing I was looking at then? What was this thing I was watching, looking at? Maybe it's on the other channel. How'd you find all oh, that stuff? How'd you find the other channel, you knob? Red. Strange system. The real one. <laughs> oh my god. This isn't where I found it, but this is great. Hello. <laughs> Everybody. Um... Did you see this? You watched my review. Review of what? Can't remember now. Have you seen this? Hello. <laughs> Why Bombay? <laughs> Why Bombay? Oh, it's gone kind of Avril. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Sorry, my brain. Why Bombay? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Everybody. Um, this is one of my favourites. Now... Rudyard Kipling was an author. I don't know if you're in the US, you might never have heard of him. A genius. Rudyard Kipling wrote the Jungle Book that's made by Disney now. They stole it. It's, you don't need the visual for Alan. What you need is something else in the visual. And this is like a music track, like of him talking over music. <laughs> Plagiarised him. They stole it off him. You don't hear that, do you? You don't hear people saying, oh, you stole that off Rudyard Kipling. Well, no, because he, he um, died in 1936. He was born in 1865. Rudyard Kipling. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Fiction, mainly. The Man Who Would Be King, he wrote. Fantastic book. 
Poems, Mandalay, God's Copybook, White Man's Burden. I mean, genius. Short stories, long stories, poetry, fantastic. He was the leading author in the late 19th century. A complete man, a genius. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature, the first English speaking person to win the Nobel Prize. 1907, and he was only 41. This, this man was good, let me tell you. He was offered to be a poet laureate, turned it down. Offered a knighthood many times, turned it down. Well, you might say, why is that? He's, he's British. He's not, he's, he is British, but he's Anglo um, Indian. So Anglo Indian. He spent most of his life in India. Because at the time, we had a thing called the British Raj, and um, we had this thing, GB thought they'd dominate the world. So Great Britain, Dublin, they had in there, anyway, all of India. So they had to police it with all sorts Come of on. people. Where's the rest of the beat? And, uh, he, he was there with his family and he learned Indian. He, he, I'm sure he considered himself more Indian than British, to be honest. But the main thing for him is he, when he got older, he wrote books. Where's the rest of the beat? As well. And we got What's the this? main characters. What was that? There he is looking lovable. There's a, there's a real life one, Mongoose. <laughs> lovable little character, right? Don't you believe it? Vicious. So we've got a Mongoose. <laughs> We've got a mum and dad cobra. <laughs> and we've got the mongoose's friend who's a mushroom. <laughs> and we've got a bird that's their friend as well. And we've got <laughs> some main characters. <laughs> our, um, first of all, I'll read you the poem. that. Yeah, don't. I've got to do that on the mainstream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A lot of uh, mail about Winnie since I did the uh, Spirit World video and he was sort of scared. <laughs> uh, so I thought I'd make a video of him today. He's back to his... Winston was scared of the Spirit World video. Normal self and enjoying life. I uh, took him out for a walk, a brisk walk in the... Ooh, cold today. Anyway, here's Winnie and I. Winston Beauregard live. Winston and me. Oh, autumn with Winnie. I haven't seen him for a while, on his little track. Look who's Little top tip, if you want to decide whether it's Winston and I or Winston and me, you put the other character, you just take them out of the sentence. So I'm going to go for a walk in the park with I. Doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to go for a walk in the park with me. Makes sense with Winston and me. Winston and me are going for a walk in the park. I am going for a walk in the park. Winston and I are going for a walk in the park. I am going for a walk in the park. Wait, have I got that right or wrong? And enjoying life. Uh, took him out for a walk, a brisk walk in the ooh, cold today. Anyway, here's Winnie and I. Winston. Here, here's Winnie and I. Here's I. Here's me. It's me, Winston and me. Beauregard live this morning. Oh, autumn with Winnie. I haven't seen him for a while, I've been on his little track. Look who blends in with the autumn leaves. <laughs> or is it, here I am, here Winston and I are, um, God, grammar at three in the morning with Scotty Hottie. Red, I'll never find him, will I? He's got to take you for a walk. This is autumn now, see? Normally you only see this in the summer, don't you? I've seen this before, haven't I? Because I made a video with all the chicken I can eat. Killed by the partner or ex-partner every week. Oh no, it's just they go to the same fucking park, so I haven't seen this, it's just a different video that's the same. Mark his territory as well, as you might notice him doing that. Or have I seen this before? I don't know. I'm tripping. I'm really tripping. He's got such a cute face, he gets away with everything. Even though he attacked the troll, I've got proof of it. It's all been logged. All the evidence is there. And he still walked. Of course, there will be a retrial. I'm working on it. I'm Chair Detective here. I thought we'd give you an insight into Winston's life. It's called Winston Walks. As he always does. He never gets prosecuted. He's got such a cute face, he gets away with everything. Even though he attacked the troll, I've got proof of it. It's all been logged. All the evidence is there. And he still walked. Of course, there will be a retrial. I'm working on trying to get a confession out of him, but it's difficult at the moment. He's so strong-willed. It's literally the Winston show.
this is savage. You know, he said in that other video that we watched that he would just play stuff, the, the Chris Watts stuff, and get them interested, and then he'd get it monetized, and then he'd stop doing it. It's like people subbed because of Winston, and then he stopped having Winston on. <laughs> Did he do lives over here as well? Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm back. When he dies, I'm going to play this video. I'm going to react to this one when he dies. Y'all miss me? I'm back. You all miss me? Yeah. <laughs> Stole the film from Batman, right? Shut up, Winston. <laughs> Winston, no. Stole the film from Batman. <laughs> you don't have to be the main character to steal the show, do you, Joker? Hey, hang on a minute. This is some great news here. Inga Torre. I haven't said this for six months. Thank you very much for your super sticker, Inga. YouTube, who you all thought hated me. I've been speaking to them. They understand that I'm being stalked. They said, we don't understand why you get so many um, complaints against you. I said, it's organized. I completed 4,000 hours on this new channel. CC, thank you for the super sticker. Oh, does super chat not work? Oh, I hope super chat works. Hopefully it's not just super stickers. It should be super chat as well. Thank you for the super stickers. Obviously the super chats are worth more money. Someone can try a one dollar super chat. I'd freaking well appreciate it. Is it just the stickers that are working? <laughs> oh, I never get everything right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, super chat's working. Thank you, knock. Thank you, KK. Uh, not K. No, thank. If someone could send me a tippy just to make sure the tippy thing's working. Thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? You want to do okay, okay. Thank you, Navy vet. I love to be a Navy vet. That's a real Navy vet. Is that a Navy veteran or a Navy veterinary sur surgeon? Or just someone in chat that's got a name that says Navy vet, but you can't verify it. <laughs> I mean, what? Anyway, <laughs> so where was I? I forgot. Anyway, so I only I had a two week ban. Oh, this is so kind of you, folks. Thank you, Marie. I had a two week ban by YouTube through being targeted. Thank you, Inga. And it wasn't fair. It's never fair. So I thought if I can get my second channel monetized, the trolls can put that in their pipe and smoke it, right? That's against terms of service. Because if you get banned on YouTube, you're not allowed to start another channel and then just get that monetized. That's against terms of service. I only completed it a few hours ago. YouTube instantly give me back monetization. I am no monetized on this little channel. If you're from the big channel, you need to click and subscribe to this channel because here I can say, yes, I do. So his big channel's got 80,000 subscribers. Uh, this one's only got 12,000. So this was two years ago. So what you have to say is two years ago, he was forced to start from scratch in some fashion. Despite having 80,000 or what back then would have been maybe 40,000, I don't know. Despite that, he didn't manage to grow this channel. 12K over four, over, sorry, over two years, 12K over four years, two years, you know. He's on about the same trajectory as like any other normal YouTuber. Like, but he's done that with the benefit of having the big channel going now and back up and like what, <laughs> this is a bit of a, a shameful, sad situation really isn't it you get paid by youtube and i deserve it because i do a lot of hours and if people want to pay me they friggin pay me yes i can now say i do get some money from youtube thank you guys pretty cheerful about that isn't he <laughs> why are you all writing two for two 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 everybody's writing two i don't know why that's, that he doesn't like this, right? Because he's not in control of it and it's something he doesn't understand. So now he feels angry because he's not inside the inside joke. 
Like most of us would just be like, oh, that's cool. Tell me what it is. But he's like, you saw the smile drop from his face. <laughs> I'm confused why you're all writing two. Better get a handle on that, Alan. Blimey, there's a lot of twos. Why are they all writing two? I don't know. <laughs> two. The mystery yeah, of so the two. The mystery of the two. Those of you that. Um... Why are you all writing two for? Those of, those of you that. I don't know what it was. I didn't ask you one or two, did I? <laughs> I just said, is Super Chat working? Why two? You confused me. Bubbles. Cap. Why are they all writing two? <laughs> like most of us would notice it, say something, and then just move on and carry on. And if it come up, you know, and you got a handle on it or whatever, you would. But, like, you know, I'd say, oh, I don't really get what you're writing two for. But, you know, okay. <laughs> Thanks, and then you know you carry on. Like you just wouldn't be. That, this is now the whole thing is stalled until we can figure out what this is about. I have no idea why you're writing two. Somebody tell me, because I need to know what's with the twos. See what I mean? I need to know. It's not like I can accept that there's some in joke that I don't know about that's going on in my chat. I need to know. I'm not doing nothing else. But somebody tells me what these twos are about. <laughs> See, I can predict his behaviour because he's a narcissist. It's just un it's uncanny. <laughs> I'm not doing it. It's like he's putting a tantrum now. I'm not doing anything else until we tell me what this two's about. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing else until somebody tells me what these two's about. <laughs> Must mean something. Yeah, detective that one up. Two. Is he googling it? Two. <laughs> <laughs> the number. He's, I, he, I imagine he got his phone out then and opened Google and wrote in two and then Googled it and then realised what a fucking stupid thing that was. <laughs> One is no... Oh. Oh. I'm confused. <laughs> spam. Right. That's spam. <laughs> anyway, so I've lost my thread completely. <laughs> oh, someone asked us to put two if I deserve Super Chat. Got it. I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you all said two, yeah, okay. Anyway, I do deserve it. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I do deserve super chats. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm proud of it. If, you're, if I'm a busker in the street and I'm singing, Manger Tom to ground control. <laughs> Ignition. Beverly Hill Doyan, thank you. Beverly Hills, good to see you. And you throw, Dan, Manger Tom to ground control. <laughs> and you throw a dollar in my hat. I'm this again. Thank you. This again. And the next person I'm not going to say, why are you giving him a dollar? He's a rubbish singer. Take it back. This is YouTube. They pay me if they want to, trolls. <laughs> and I'm fight, fighting fit. Even though I'm ill, I've had blood pressure. I've had <laughs> all sorts of problems the last two weeks. I tell you, hospital, everything. <laughs> knock me down. Two, thank you. <laughs> I'm fighting fit, even though I'm ill. <laughs> This is an actual live on his red channel, for the oldest live on his red channel. As you see, I like to go back and check through the old catalogue. There's so much. I imagine the years of Alan on the internet and the joys and gems we have to find. Christ. I said, Christ, I need to stop doing that. I really want to stop doing that. Um, there's just, <laughs> I can't say, oh my. There's, I hope he doesn't, I don't want to say this because I'm imagining that they've all recorded it, but I hope he doesn't want to go back and delete shit. It would be a massive mistake for him because his viewing figures would drop. Like YouTube, if you do, if I delete one of my big videos tomorrow, then my viewing figures will drop by that number of views and YouTube will perceive that as some sort of big problem happened on my channel and it will actually suffer. Like it will create a stutter step in my algorithmic sharing, you know? Um, my new videos won't get shared as much because last week I lost 50,000 views. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, it will see it as a big negative, so. I don't think he really can do that at this stage now, but. So the reason I've come on here with this film that's been made for me and not patron. Is to get this channel monetarized and get the money off them on this channel. <laughs> tried to do this show in patron last night and I was surrounded. Oh, Mary, Mary Wood, thank you, though. Thank you. I was surrounded by trolls. They got, we said we're going to do a party yesterday, day before. And somehow they all decided they're going to do a mass invasion of my party, which is for me and my faithful patrons. I miss these days. I'm so sad that I've missed these days. You know, it's the same with Darkside Phil. Like he's got, a, you know, the ban hammer is swift from people who have managed to 
navigate that and like these moderators lock it all down now don't they but imagine being in that party stream and being like able to put to put your little trolley messages in you know like through massive supporters so we did the show and they ruined it thank you navy vet u.s navy veteran they they ruined it they <laughs> ruined it they had all my team in tears i was i went to bed in desperation and depression <laughs> and a black crowd and it was horrible and a black it, crowd a black crowd <laughs> Don't, i'm not i can't even elaborate on that i don't know what you're doing what have i done oh, i've muted him they had all my team in tears. I was I went to bed in desperation and depression and a black crowd and it was horrible. Any of you that saw it, it was horrible. This is a man that was in hospital being told that if you didn't come here you probably would have died. I what? Exactly, Sarah, what? I the beauty of this, I mean, I imagine he had other live streams on this channel before and he's deleted them. But the beauty of this is if you go back to look at where he started on YouTube, it's it's from a big question mark. <laughs> and it's just like, what? What the fuck is going on? I, I, my arms are, I think I'm having a heart attack. And I, oh, well, at least I got my birthday party with my friends. And my friends made a video for me. You'll see it in a minute. YouTubers that had me in tears. And uh, I couldn't show it because the trolls ruined it. Oh, my God. He had a video made for him. It had him in tears, just like the video we did, maybe. And then, or you did, I should say. And then he couldn't show it because the trolls ruined it. He must be so angry about that video that happened for us. It's like foreboding. It's like future foreboding. I'm having a heart attack, but at least I'm having a party with my friends. Apparently someone thought they were having a heart attack. I don't know. They ruined it. So this is AD's birthday, take two. <laughs> you get so, two birthdays like the Queen. Put that in your pipe. <laughs> put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm back for the second birthday. I'm going to come as the Joker and it's going to be a really creepy party. Pipe and smoke it, trolls. Do you think he means himself? Do you think he means himself? He thought he was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> like him, he would have back then, right? If he didn't have all the spanners and they weren't keeping lockdown on the chat, being invaded by trolls, being a narcissist would have been a massive problem for him because he would have been out of control, just like he was when he didn't know what the number two was. He'd have had a massive like hissy fit and not been able to control it and having to be on camera and sit through it. I assume they said negative things as well. That would have been fucking something else. And I hope that all the patrons that are here tonight will understand why I've done it on here. Not pay I wonder if I can get hold of that patron. Like, it must have gone out as a video. Like, it must have gone live. That must have happened live. I wonder if anyone else recorded it. Like that, that is the gold dust. That's the, you know, that's the diamond in the mine. That's the, uh, what's that really expensive metal that they use in mobile phones these days that the African kids have to go and mine barehanded for. <laughs> you know. <laughs> patron, we're trying to get patron fixed. I don't want to ever go through that again. Hedgy Mum, thank you for the super sticker. So we're doing it on here. And you're all welcome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Right. Please note, live chat replay is not available for this video. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy it. This is like, you know, does anyone remember this is your life? You ever seen this is your life? Yeah. <laughs> Do go on. <laughs> You have to be quite old. You have to be quite old to um, remember this is your life. It'd be like a book. And they say, oh, you grew up in such and such a school and you did this in your life and did that. It's not a very good description of what this is. This is your life was a TV show and it would do your obituary before you were dead. So they would have a big red book and they'd present it to you as a little surprise in your workplace or on the telly. You know, they'd surprise you with this. Oh, it's Michael Aspel and the big red book. And then you would go into the studio and they'd open the big red book and it would say, you were born in and out would come your mum and dad. And then, you know, then they'd say, you went to school in so-and-so and out would come someone from your school and you'd, oh, thank you and shake their hand. You know, 
sit down and at the end of this reading of the book you've gone through your life all the important characters have assembled in the studio and you say thank you very graciously make a little speech and you know you get to walk off with the book of your life and have a nice party with your friends that's a better explanation than than alan's explanation i'm going to let him talk for a minute and i'm going to refill my drink um i think we'll roll to four o'clock at least maybe now i hope you enjoy it this is like you know does anyone remember this is your life you ever seen this is your life you have to be quite old. You have to be quite old to um, remember this is your life. It'd be like a book. And they say, oh, you grew up in such and such a school and you did this in your life and did that. And, I've... and then they bring on all their friends and the friends would come on and usualize, usualize about them. Only... People normally only say this therefore you're dead. Oh, he's a great chap. Anyway, th this is going to be a video of YouTubers, famous YouTubers, talking about me, yeah, Eamon Andrews. I won't say any more because I'll spoil it. Um, I hope you recognise a few of our friends. Hope you recognise a few of our friends, okay? Thank you, Cass. Thank you, Honey Bee. Fantastic turnout tonight. I can't believe it. You've all come on this little channel. 350 of you found it. It's only a baby channel. It only started a week ago. And yet, 350 of you found it. I will be doing a big story on the Watts late after this okay i have got a big watch story for you but uh, anyway right are you ready yes we're ready sit down with some popcorn and a glass of wine and celebrate ad's birthday with me and the girls michael aspel eamon andrews <laughs> tonight armchair detective this is your life Oh, Joe, you made it. You found it. Come on in. You are just in time for Katie's birthday party. Oh, wow. Look at in here. Hi, everybody. Bubbles, look at all the people here. Do we wish Katie happy birthday? I know, yes. Okay, let's get this party started. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So we're doing it on here. You're all welcome. Hello, everyone. At one point, he said there's 300 of you in here. How amazing this is. <laughs> He's got trolled on the yesterday's broadcast. So all the trolls are in here. <laughs> That's for sure. This is his birthday. It was streamed two years ago. Wouldn't it tell me the date? January the 29th. So his birthday is January the 28th. <laughs> He's doxxed himself. It's a shame because it's quite a long way away. I could have done something for his birthday. In here it says patron. That's the main thing. Become a member. PayPal. <laughs> On the uh, ASMR channel, I used to put charities and stuff as well I've never put my PayPal <laughs> Armchair Detective has three channels be sure to check them out the live stream channel the case library channel and the live hotline calls to heaven or hell this I have to see the live stream channel blue no red this is the live stream channel okay the case library channel will be blue then yeah and the live hotline calls to heaven or hell his life's too short Alan, yeah right now ladies i hope you brought some drinks have you you brought some drinks with you i want to know who's brought some real drink anybody got any wine or bourbon or something like that hang on hang on a minute i can't get a bloody tea in my mouth uh, 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 uh. bloody hell i can understand that a moustache could be very very tricky if you want to drink or eat anything and for kissing well it's almost impossible <laughs> 
Almost impossible. Right, okay. Now. That's a cape because he's Jack the Ripper. Tonight, you weren't aware of this, but I'm going to teach you how to dance. So those of you that are at home, girls, I want you all to stand up. Uh, do some limbering up exercises. Yeah, after me. Come on. One, two, one, two, one, two. Everyone stand up. All right. The cun roach. He's unkillable, isn't he? The cun roach. This in your life, and did that, and, and then they bring on all. Oh, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Sit down with some popcorn and a glass of wine, and celebrate AD's birthday with me and the girls. Michael Aspel, Eamon Andrews. <laughs> Tonight, Armchair Detective. This is your life. I wish it fucking was. I'd like to learn about what was going on between the ages of like ten and. 40. Oh, I'm running late. Oh, I think this is the house. Oh, Joe, you made it. You found it. Come on in. You are just in time for 80's birthday party. Oh, wow. Look at in here. Hi, everybody. Bubbles, look at all the people here. Jack the Stripper. Happy birthday. I know, yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy 66th birthday. Handsome. These ladies fucking want to sex him up, don't they? I know you chuffers get saucy with me in chat sometimes, but... Well, not you chuffers specifically. <laughs> not you chuffers specifically, but, you know, I know that the mimps sometimes get saucy with me in chat, but... Like, they, that's why they're into him, isn't it? That's why I can't break, like, bubbles, because she's fantasised about him and fapped off over him. Like, she's got this weird connection. <laughs> I'm not breaking that, am I? Unless... Um, yeah, but she's... Okay, so she must be a submissive. Like, Alan is natural... Like, oh, is he a submissive himself? Like, I don't think he's a natural dominant person. I don't think he's a natural dom. But I think he like he puts out that persona, doesn't he? So these women that are like that into him, like who would be like you've got to ask yourself, who would be into this sort of personality? It's not just the way someone looks, is it? You don't look at someone on the internet and think they look a bit of alright. Therefore that's it, I'm big on them now forever. Like if they turn out to be a dickhead, you're like, oh well, you look nice, but you're a dickhead. Sometimes they're the worst kind, aren't they? You know, you look at them and you think, oh, they're quite nice. Oh, hello. And then they turn out to be a dickhead. And you're like, oh, that's a big shame. Because you had a lot going for you there. Um, so they, they're like sourced up with him. And Alan is a narcissistic, bombastic bully. So in some way, the people who like this might want to be bullied about. That's why I'm thinking of like being a submissive. Um... Alan, go, like that's the, the like. I'm trying to think of how you would break the. Like part of the problem is like, let's say Alan went off with some woman. The people that oh, we, we want to sex up Alan, they're not going to like finished with that because he's gone off with some woman, because they're like oh, I, I, you know, in some way he, they, they, she's better than me anyway. And Alan, he's like my pin up on the wall, and I wish I could sex him up, but it's no wonder he doesn't want to go out with me. I'm not good enough for Alan. Like you know, they they probably got that in their head or some bullshit. He'd have to do something like this. Is probably why the small stuff was the most dangerous for him, I suppose. You know, he'd have to do something that changed the way they perceive him, or maybe offer them up a new, a new sex symbol that they can latch onto. You know, Alan's. No, I remember when I used to fap it about Alan, but now I'm fapping it about fucking Dieter Brummer from Home and Away. Was it Dieter Brummer? You probably. You don't need to see this. Sarah, you don't need to see this. He doesn't look like that. He used to look like this from home and away. Don't look, not like that. There he is from home and away. 
Shane in Neighbours. Sorry, Shane in Neighbours. It was Shane in Neighbours. Everyone, they all thought he was saucy. Shane in Neighbours. Dieter Brummer. He was on like smash hits all the time. It's like Daniela Westbrook. Hang on, wait. <laughs> we had Brian Harvey. We looked at him earlier. Look at Daniela Westbrook. She looks like someone's caved her face in with a shovel. That's the cocaine for you, isn't it? It's not my fault she looks like that. <laughs> Fuck. Not no nor underwear. <laughs> You're going to sell fewer Calvin Klein matching sets. Unless they've got them in TK Maxx now. You got I don't know what what this is doing for the brand. <laughs> I'd uh, or a, a lump hammer. It looks like she's taken a lump hammer. The shovel might you know, very flat with the shovel in it, but um This It's not gonna sell many Calvin Kleins, is it? They I think Dieter Brummer used to do who was the one that used to do Calvin Klein? It was Marky Mark, wasn't it? Marky Mark. He's called a, he's actually called Mark Wahlberg now, but Marky Mark, Calvin Klein, and it was Kate Moss. Marky Mark and Calvin Klein and Kate Moss. That's my generation, right? So this is what I got to see in the news. Marky Mark doing the Calvin Klein. You can look away again, Sarah. You don't have to see this. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, though. Dieter Brummer, Marky Mark, you know, this sort of stuff. Marky Mark. There was Kate Moss as well. I want to see the Kate Moss one now, so. It was Kate Moss as well. They, look, they did it together. Did it together, so. That was for CK1, the perfume that everybody had. To. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, you're buying it. CK1, we're all buying it. So. <laughs> that was the thing, man. That, the 90s, CK1, everyone smelled of CK1. Everyone. So. I forgot what I'm doing now. Anyway, look, yeah, that was the brand. And now look at it. The brand is in the toilet. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> Somebody in Calvin Klein should run down there and fucking rip those off her. I don't care if she's naked in the street and they're taking photos of a fucking cracking ass. Rip those loads off her. I do not want those to be appearing in the paper with our brand on it. You didn't. I'm sure lots of people, had, you know, didn't. But at some point you did, you fucker. Shut up. Everyone has used CK1 in the 90s. Everyone has used CK1 in the 90s. Do not tell me that... I mean, you obviously had taste and your favourites, yes, but don't tell me that you didn't use CK1 in the 90s. Call you a fucker, yeah, yes. Because <laughs> I'm not having it. Everyone, everyone... Did, did you or did you not have a bottle of CK1? Just, just uh, to be honestly, even if you had one of those little ones with the little screw lid... Did you or did you not have a bottle of CK1? Answer honestly. Is she going to write yes? <laughs> no, honestly, come off it. Were you really alive in the 90s? No one bought you one at Christmas. You didn't get one in a raffle. Sometimes you used to go to the supermarket and they were free with the milk. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I remember once it was free on the cover of the Smash Hits magazine or some shit. Everyone had... Everyone. <laughs> I can't even pronounce those words, so I'm not going to pronounce them. But this is not a look for Calvin Klein. What's she doing the stretch for? That's made it worse. She could have just... You know, standing up... Well, I suppose standing up square on didn't look too good either. <laughs> Can we get one of you doing the stretch? I think I might pee down the side of my leg. Just do it anyway. You got it. Yeah. As she's running in her gut. This is contrived. She's not out for a run. She's in her garden. She's dressed up and they've done a model shoot with her. Yeah, look, she's looking straight into the camera. So they've actually chosen to pose her in this way and do the photo. That's a choice. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> What's this? What's this now? <laughs> well, this stream's been worth the wait. <laughs> Why would she agree to this? 
why would she agree? Don't like, <laughs> don't do this. If they, if you're taking your photo, do not put yourself in this position. Why would you agree to it? <laughs> you think her face looks better? It's filled out more, hasn't it? It's fallen forward instead of caving in. The blood pressure's got to it, pumped it out. <laughs> Just fucking, what's this? What's this? This is not Calvin Klein modelling, is it? Like, what's this? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, I thought that was bad. <laughs> Jordan never posed like that, did she? <laughs> <laughs> She's got the towel out for. What's that for? <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's happened? What am I, I'm closing some windows. More windows than Buckingham Palace, mate. Closing some windows. <laughs> so anyway, these women fucking love him and to break that separation, you know, to separate that bond for some of them, for me, is going to be pretty tough. And I thought, my suggestion was, let's get them somewhere, like, let's get them all sexed up with Dieter Brummer. Like, if Dieter Brummer wanted to sex them up, they'd ditch Alan in a shop. To you, happy birthday to you. I thought that was one of his subscribers. It's not, though, is it? It's Kate Winslet. So, when when you did the video for me, I'm glad you didn't include fucking creeping pictures of celebrities. <laughs> when you did... When, uh, when Slinky Socks made that video, I'm really glad you didn't include creepy pictures of celebrities with four different fonts on to make it look even more unhinged. Four fonts on the same thing. Four different fonts on the same thing. Oh God, was it your birthday? I tell everyone when it's my birthday, as many people as I can. I'm really serious. It's what I do. I'll never change. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my beloved. She idolises me. Does he know? Is he making a joke? Oh, thank you. Thank you, my beloved. She idolises me. Kate does. Happy birthday! Hey, Alan, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Like, this is actually one of the people, yeah? Like, this isn't actually Cher, the singer, is it? Although she does keep having plastic surgery and keep getting younger. But um, this is one of his people. This is actually one of his people. And they might not all still be his people these days. It's two years down the line. So I'm not going to be too harsh on them. But some of you have got dogs. And some of you like got pictures of you and your dogs and stuff. This one, to me, there's something quite intimidating about that dog. Do you know what I mean? Like, imagine this was a Tinder profile and I looked at it. I'd be tempted to I'd think, oh, she looks quite pretty. Little knowing smile, little cheeky smile. She looks quite pretty. She's got a tattoo, which is like a star thing. And it, I think that is quite, sort of quite hippie-esque. She's got the curls, a bit Phoebe from Friends maybe, a bit of a tough cookie, you know, maybe a bit bohemian. Uh, no, there are lots of, lots of positives. And I'd see that picture of that dog looking at me and think, if I went around to that passenger side of that car and opened the door and said, you're right, I'll just get in there, get the dog. And the dog was going, Rrr. I'd be like, fuck this. God, I'm, not, I'm not, fuck this. Swipe whichever way it is that I don't have to date you. That dog, it, just, it might be nice, but it's just the way it sat there looking over his shoulder at me. Anyway. And I just wanted to thank you so much for always including me and inviting me to your lives. And I know we had a, a rocky start, but I've really enjoyed watching you come out of your shell and be on Robbie and Mexi's panels and really get to know you for you. And Wasn't she in the pictures from the video that, that Nutter did today, the Australian Nutter? Didn't the Australian Nutter have pictures of her on a recent video? And I just, I think you're awesome. And I think it's awesome that you don't let these people keep you down. And I want to keep seeing you just to it. Because people are trying to take you down because you're good at what you do. So sending you lots of health and good wishes and love ya. 
Fair enough. If that's her opinion. I'm not going to critique it. <laughs> hey, Alan. It's Larry. This is Larry. <laughs> Larry's got the doors open. I don't know what's going on over there, but he's got a quick escape route if he needs it. All the doors are open. This is his telis. It's just got the relaxing mountains on. And uh, staring at me. <laughs> staring at me. I think Alan liked the one from Kate Winslet and Cher better than he's going to like this one. I'll tell you that. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday today. I hope you're uh, taking care of yourself. Take care of your health. And um, just wanted to say thank you again for having me on the show. It's been on the show. Pleasure talking with you. It's has gone off. chance to chat some more and uh, keep working. But most importantly, please take care of yourself and your health. Is he worrying them about his health? Because they all seem to be worried about his health. And I hope you have <laughs> He looks like he's being held at gunpoint and being forced to say happy birthday to Alan. <laughs> Great birthday. All right. Happy birthday, Alan. You just say happy birthday and you can walk right out those doors, mate. This is from Dawn, Mike Dropping AD, Mom. Hello, hello. This is Dawn, Mike Dropping Mom. I wanted to... To start out by saying foremost happiest birthday i feel so blessed to be able to say these words verbally to you and not just have you read them in chats with a bunch of emojis but nonetheless <laughs> i know that i am speaking for the majority when i say what a year it's been it has been a year of watching this channel grow watching you bring people together as I feel bad for these people it's an 80 uh, army as and more AD army <laughs> bring us together to fight your battles so a family I can say for myself that the year of revelations that you have had is truly amazing with this case and furthermore the way that you have brought us together has been nothing but an absolute overwhelming Thing for so many people may this next year bring so many blessings to you your health your sick listen if in two years time i've let you all down as bad as alan's let these people down i'll be really really ashamed of myself like how has he taken this amount of goodwill and positivity and turned it into the dumpster fire that it is today like, it's incredible isn't it success this is the success of our study group and team study group and army and family and may this but maybe these people are manipulated into this concept like maybe he leaned really heavily on the community you know i opened up the discord and i said if i'm gonna have to take this off because it's hot on my head um i opened up the discord and i said you know if you want to do the discord you can do the discord but like alan might have really heavily leaned on the you know you're in my group now you're in my team and i'm the big one and you've all got to be here like next year put the darn trolls to rest and bring the absolute truths to everybody who knows and believes with you. We love you, AD. Happiest birthday. And may this year be filled with amazing, amazing things. So much love, Dawn. Thanks, Dawn. That was nice. It's raining again. I couldn't be happier. Swish, Curious I cat sent push. tippies. Super chuffer owes 10 hugs. Well, I'm glad I stayed on then. <laughs> <laughs> It's my birthday now. Thank you, Curious Cat. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It didn't show your message. Tell it. Why didn't it show you? Oh, it's weird, isn't it? Maybe, um, maybe because we're on Twitch and not YouTube, and I have it set up for my YouTube channel, and then it still does this, but I have it sent through. To, like maybe it was sent through. No, it usually does it through my stream. Actually, it normally says like if I'm off stream, some sometimes it will say them. Um, I'll go to the page and have a quick look. Thanks for a fantastic stream, Larry, from the fucker who never knew I had a bottle of, who never had a bottle of CK1. So you know I've said it. I don't know why I didn't say that. Maybe it's because it said fucker. Maybe it's because it said fucker. It's yeah, maybe it's that. Sending me insulting tippies, but it will still let me take the tippies, so that's fine. <laughs> hey, Alan, welcome to your tarot readings by Roxby. But you always call me Roxby Tarot. 
Roxby. Me, Roxy, and I love that. You always call me Roxy, and it's not my name, but it's Roxby. Just like I love Rocket Man, AD. She loves AD. She, she does love it. She does love him. She's done a makeup full on special for this. She's fully done the makeup for this. You're so funny. You have a great sense of humor. No, she's done her cheeks nice and rosy, and she's done her no nose nice and yellow. You have taught me so much in the past three years. You really are an amazing person. You really are. I'm honored to be a mod for you. If anybody deserves a very beautiful, blessed, happy birthday, it is you. Really. I hope you have a beautiful, happy birthday. So, of course, okay, to save your time, because I know your time is precious, sweetheart. I already got the card pulled out for you. I know your time is precious. As a mod of his, you know his time is precious. He uh, can't be asked to fucking talk to you on the fucking thing. He's just, my time is precious. Can you just get to the fucking point? <laughs> pull this all the time. Like, do you see how we she's already, do you see how she's already conditioned by the narcissist as well? Like, she's a mod of his, so she's been conditioned. Just dropped a little bit of weed on the floor now. Shit. All right. Floor weed. I'll have to live there on the floor for a bit. Maybe I'll find it another time and be like, oh, bonus, I found some weed on the floor. <laughs> yeah, but it's floor weed now. Oh, well. Uh, she's done the tarot reading. She could have got these lined up in advance, couldn't she? She could have just, like, you know, did, I didn't see her pick them out of the deck. And the Wheel of Fortune. I don't even know if, if Joe sent that to you. The Wheel of Fortune is a good one. But you do, you've gotten this several, several times. Success, being recognized, being in the public eye. Just ultimate victory and success. What's at the bottom? Oh my God, the chariot. Are you traveling somewhere? Where are you going? After going through, oh my God, there's the tower. You just got this the other night when your channel got interrupted. I immediately grabbed the cards and asked the cards if you're. If she sounds like a fucking nutter. As a happy birthday message, please nobody do this one for me. Your channel was going to come down and it came up, yes. But with the wheel of fortune, karma, destiny, things happening. You just said this tonight. You can't make this shit up, Alan. This is your card. You pull this every flipping time. Aquarius, listen. Oh, she's getting well leggy about it. <laughs> so that's Roxby. Roll with it because it is definitely. Do something special for yourself. We appreciate all you do. And again, have a great day. She looks nice. This is Winston What's Churchill. Done, Churchill. Fight them on the beaches. That was AD doing his own Yo. impression. His own impression of Winston Churchill. This is AD. Happy birthday from Digler. Oh, AD, it's Digler. I just want to wish you a fantastic birthday, Alan. I know you haven't been well lately. But try and listen to your doctor like all women have been telling you to do. <laughs> and I don't listen to doctors much myself either. <laughs> um... We, we do care a lot about you, we really do. So try to keep up with your uh, eating well and stuff like that, eating lettuce and things. I mean, I've only been on your channel about four months as a subscriber and Patreon. Um, but it's been brilliant. It feels like I've been there for about a year. It's been, it's been absolutely great. And I know you put a ton of work into your channel because you've got top quality content. Um, so that takes a hell of a lot of effort, I know that. But try to take it a bit easier, AD. You know, get yourself well. So you Am I tripping? So he's going for five years, wasn't he? Four years ago, this guy's only been subscribed recently, he said. So this was two-year-old video, so um, at around two years ago. Sexy Empanadas was dropped around two years ago. AD Spirit in the Sky will catch you when you fall. Wonderful life, looks like it. You may act now, but is it? Like he's doing his small songs on the, the stream. Um... It doesn't look like top dollar content. <laughs> it 
definitely doesn't look like top quality content. He's actually, this is the time when he's doing his small stuff. It's interesting that he's used a lot of that smule on his content. I wonder if he used the seven years old song on his content. Probably not, eh? <laughs> this is Alan at a wedding. Right, I can tell you it's a wedding because just off to this side is the bride, white dress, bouquet. Everyone's in their finery. Alan's got a, uh, what is, I don't know what it's called actually, I can't remember the name off the top of my head at this late hour, but you know, a little posy of flowers and his buttonhole. His buttonhole. Um, and he's carrying Winston as if to say, I don't have a date, but I've brought the dog. <laughs> so it's me and the dog <laughs> at the wedding. Look at his face. Someone probably took this photograph of him without him knowing and then sent it to him. There's one of you in the dog at the wedding, Dad. Winston's in his red harness. All the chicken I can eat. <laughs> Winston. Poor bastard. Poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like his content is just so fucking full of shit. Like littered with shit. Gabby Petito Memorial, don't. What the fuck? This shot's gone on for way too long. There's a cloud. No, no, no. I think the song might get me copyright, so I might have to turn the song down. But look, it's all Gabby Petito's photos of her. 
seems a bit creepy that he's got all these photos on his computer and he's making a film, putting them, you know, editing these together. Like, there's just something creepy about it to me. I know it's she's a victim of a murder and it was a case and all that, but, you know, he's got all the pictures of her, look. This is what I'm saying about this, like, the Idaho murders as well. Like, the people who died in the Idaho murders, if you go through all their pictures off their Facebook and all that, like, you get all these pictures of young girls in, like, bikinis and stuff. It just seems a bit creepy. Like... This seems well creepy. It's like, these are not your photos to be editing together and putting a memorial up. Like, Armchair Detective has done this. Alan's done this in his free time. Got all the pictures of her. Put them all together. There she is, she's 21, yay. Seems well fucking creepy. Even for me to be watching it now, like, she's dead. Like, there's the teddy bear that, because she's dead, but it's like, there you go. What the fuck? It's Adam for you. A detective here. I sat in my armchair office detecting, and I'm thinking I need to get more guests. Well, suddenly the phone went. On the other hand, it was a uh, operator who said, are you willing to make this line free um, to heaven and hell for celebrities and the inf infamous that have passed? I thought, hang on, this is a big responsibility. So I talked to my secretary, Karen. I said, what do you think, Karen? She said, oh, I'd love to talk to Elvis. I thought, yeah, Elvis. And all those people have been murdered who want me to investigate. Well, this would open up new doors. New doors, said Karen. So I've decided to take it up, take the, take the line up. And it's cost me quite a lot of money to get the line to reach heaven and hell. But I've done it. And uh, starting today, I'll be talking to the past celebrities. And I have a vast array, uh, a talented stable of people to bring to you. So I said to Karen, who are we going to start with? Oh, she said, I'll have a think about it and get back to you when I've finished doing my nails. I said, all right, Karen, get back. I have to pause this and do some comment to react, otherwise, I, you know, it's not fair use reaction, but I don't really have a reaction at this point. I'm just fucking stunned. I don't want to stay much later on the stream now because it's like four in the morning, but we'll finish this one. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> what is he doing? What's the music about? Why this music choice? <laughs> Like if you're doing Elvis, use Elvis style music. To me. So the hotline is established. Now you need to join this uh, oh, line. Yeah. The linked. The misogyny when I'm finished doing my nails. Yeah, misogyny. The line is just below in blue. Um, and if you'd like to interact with our live, with our dead celebrities, live, dead celebrities, live, and ask them a question, I'll be doing this today, really. Um, so, what do you think? Hotline to Heaven, first guest. Who would be an interesting guest, Karen? Karen, make your mind up now. Hotline to Heaven, who do you think? Well, she says, there's no, there's no, there's no choice. It, it could be Humphrey Bogart, someone like that, you know, Bogey, yeah. What? He smoked too much, didn't he? Nice bloke, though. What about James Dean? This is Karen's favourites, remember, not Alan's favourites. <laughs> Alan's not, like, you know, homoerotic in any way. He's just, these are Karen's favourites. James Dean died too young. That was the beautiful lady with his side, yeah. Yeah. What about, what about Elvis? <laughs> he just panned down there, wait. Side, yeah. Yeah. What about... It panned down there to some related images of some other cowboys. <laughs> Well, <laughs> what's he searching for? Because when you search James Dean, I don't think it comes up with Liam Neeson, this guy and this guy. I think he's been searching for cowboys, hasn't he? He said he wanted to live on a ranch. Elvis lived on a ranch and was a bit of a southern swarthy. What's this? What about Elvis? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Is this one of these swingers parties? Is this one of these swingers parties? Took a 
screenshot of that. Get that up on Twitter. I have to put Alan Vinicum in it now for the search. Alan Vinicum armchair detective. Now I'm going to put is is this one of those swingers parties? No one expects me to still be on the internet now at this time of night. I'm stupid. You're stupid. We're all stupid. We should be in bed. <laughs> Anna Vinicum, uh, all this. This is a. This is our just desserts now. We're having to watch this. I've met many an Elvis impersonator, but I think it's time to talk to the real one. Today's first guest will be actually Elvis. Oh my God! What are you going to ask him? He's got a lot to say on how he died, why he died, about his problems, about the yes men, about him being ripped off by Colonel Parker. And the beauty of it is nobody can sue me because the dead can't sue. What? <laughs> so if we slander and defame the dead, that's okay. <laughs> because they can't sue you. But I'm sure this, the estate of Elvis Presley can. And I'm sure that it's still bad to slander and defame the dead. So I have an open book to the whole world of dead celebrities through the ages. <laughs> Join me today. Ask your questions to Elvis on the um, new channel. The link's below. <laughs> AD Ghost and Horror Stories channel. What? AD Ghost and Horror Stories channel? That didn't last long, did it? Live to the dead. Elvis, eh? That links the link to the channel is the um, what he uses now is the the green channel, you know, the Juju Island channel. There's a rumor that he's working in a chip shop in Manchester. I want to ask him about that. He's he's not. That's from a song. A lot of people have seen him around the world, but I think he's passed. Anyway, listen. If he's dead, you don't need to ask him if he's working at a chip shop in Manchester because he's dead. <laughs> I've got a phone call logged into him. Just a, just an hour or so. If you got a question for Elvis, I could pass it on. If not, spend an hour in uh, AD's time. Of course, this is just a parody. I can't guarantee you that uh, it's the real Elvis, of course. But as I say... The, the At least there's some creativity gone into this. Dead can't sue me, so... The dead can't sue me is the main point he wants to bring out, though. Oh, we're going to take them all for their word and believe they are who they say they are. Oh, and then we've got the infamous that might turn up as well. Let's hope we're going to get any calls from him. Damn. I'm not sure we want to talk to him. Hitler? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hitler might turn up. <laughs> Why would Hitler turn up? <laughs> Why would you advertise that? Why would you get onto my channel later where I'll be communicating with Hitler from beyond the grave? Obviously, it's a parody, so you won't really be turning up, but I'll be playing the part of Adolf Hitler, and you're going to enjoy that because you might be a white supremacist. So I can choose to take the call or not. Muhammad Ali look as well, so that's fine. I want to talk to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I want to talk to Nelson Mandela. I but you might get Hitler, so... <laughs> I talk to so many people. Amy Winehouse. Who, who are these people? Who are these people? <laughs> that's not Amy Winehouse. That's a wrestler called China who died. I'm guessing that's um, Harambe. Isn't it dicks out for Harambe? That's Lemmy on the far side. I don't know who this is. That's Ted Cruz. He's not dead. <laughs> He's not dead. <laughs> Isn't that Ted Cruz? American politician? I don't think he's dead. 
I just don't think he's dead. Harambe the gorilla is. He was a gorilla that died in a zoo and the internet went wild for it or something. It's not Ted Cruz. Who is it then? It's a politician, isn't it? It's an American politician. I recognise him. It's not Ted Cruz. Who is it? Who the fuck is it? He, he might be dead for someone who's dead. He might actually be dead. Who did um, Bob... What's his name? Shot someone. Did someone shoot someone? Bob, someone shot someone. I don't know who it is, but it's not Ted Cruz. Do you know who Ted Cruz... Hang on. I didn't... It is him. He's just got a beard now. It is him. Look. There he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> right. There he is. See that? Look. There he is. Watch. Watch. There he is. There he is. <laughs> well, exactly. Why is he dead? Because Alan's gone on the internet and taken some meme of dead people. And he doesn't know who they are. And he doesn't realise it's a meme. So the joke is that Ted Cruz is not really dead, but someone's put him in a picture with all the dead people, and Alan doesn't understand it, and he's put it on his channel. Yeah. So many have passed, haven't they? <laughs> so I'm the armchair detective. I will be there on my channel waiting for you, <laughs> waiting for the phone call from Elvis. And maybe Ted Cruz and Hitler. Please join me. Oh. Phone's ringing, you're gonna answer it. It might be the dead. Oh, that's him ringing now. Here we go then. Hello, well, I'm Chair Detective here. Uh huh. Please support my work on Patreon. Did you hear his. He, uh huh. He didn't even put like a phone voice on it, like an edit it so it sounds like he's on the other end of the phone. He just said, I'm Chair Detective here. Uh huh. That's him ringing now. Here we go then. <laughs> Hello, well, I'm Chair Detective here. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Just like Elvis. And then there's like there's like a few minutes of lead out where it's just there's nothing there. For black screen at the end. Incredible, incredible scenes. <laughs> incredible scenes. <laughs> There's nothing. It doesn't. It's just not here. It's not here. His phone line to the dead is not here. We take him to the outskirts, and then there's a pit, right? You know where the pit is, so you walk around the outside. You girls, uh, one on each arm. You'd be like, look at me, I'm Arnie. Yeah, one girl on each arm, right? And you get to where the pit is, and you let go. You go straight down in the pit. And I'm afraid we'll never see him again, because we know what they do, don't we? How could this happen? How could this be happening? I didn't even start to scratch the surface of all this content yet, did I? But how can this be happening? Oh, I miss her mum. My mum was a big fan. Boris oh, Johnson. Boris. Hey? Boris. Oh. Hi, I'm Tilly Jane. I've been a sub for about three years now. And I just I want to wish Alan a happy birthday. She looks defeated. And, Alan, you've received this gift. There's another one that looks like they're having the gun pointed to their head to make them do the happy birthday. This calling from God. Oh, it's a God I thing. I believe you are where you're supposed to be. God, it's almost like she's talking to, like, she's in a cult. You put your heart and soul into everything you do. You've created this ocean of... <laughs> Yes, Dover and Donnie's mom, the shadow on the wall of the person holding a hostage. <laughs> Energy that has been recognized and respected by many people. 
I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me be a part of what all this is. Christ. I said Christ again. I need to stop saying Christ. You know, I'm hoping that you're doing well. I'm hoping that you're feeling okay. And I haven't talked to you in a while. I just got one word for you. Contours. But um, I want you to know that I am so happy I've met you. Thank you for You are the first YouTuber to take any interest whatsoever in my book. And, of course, um, I'm going to forever be grateful to you for that. Um, thank you for, you know, everything you've done. You've been an inspiration. Is she actually talking or is the face moving independently of the talking? Inspiration as far as your channel and things I've learned for my own little channel. And um, I just want to say happy birthday and, and, you know, many, many more years for you with success and and health. and um, this, this one's scaring me. Watches, Armchair Detective. Mwah. You're so good on wife swap. <laughs> Thank you for what you do and for <laughs> being so kind. Is she, is she driving? Has she got her hands on the wheel? I don't think you should be making a video like this while you're driving. And such a gentleman to me. So God bless you and enjoy your birthday. And so Everyone that watches Armchair Detective. So she had to take her hands off the wheel completely in order to do the kissy. You're so good on wife swap. So good on wife swap. Made me laugh. She's hilarious, man. Molly. Hello, oh. Ellen. This cute dimples. Cute dimples can come over to our channel. Here's wishing a special man around a spectacular day. I'm sending wishes for good health happiness to come your way today and every look at cute dimples every day may god blessings be with you always take care oh cute dimples you suffered terrible lately i i suffer with you cute dimples oh, i wonder how she suffered she can come over to our channel the others look like nutters who's this fella I really need to knock this on the head now. Hey, Fish Fingers brought out their first ad. It's fucking... It's Shipman. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? This guy has a big, big talking segment. Here he is. The professor. Hello, Helen. I have been called by um, your team and thought uh, it might be uh, good for us, all those of your... Um, compatriots and uh, people that wish you well in your endeavors and in your career and um, I just thought I'd uh, leave a message to wish you a very happy birthday and perhaps a big congratulations on reaching a finally in this uh, phase of your life reaching a career which is so suitable to your personality well, some people call it a personality, um, but uh, no, a few jokes here. You know, I'm, I'm not going to start off and, you know, all those corny old jokes about, uh, you know, when you were born, they were so shocked they had to smack your mother. <laughs> like that. You, know, you were born into such poverty that you, you know, in a... In a very, such a small room that uh, when you turn the lights off, you know, you were in bed before the light went out. Um, all of those, I'm sure you know all of those because you've always been a fan of performance in some way. And I think that this um, involvement with the public eye, with a certain, uh, as I say, every man quality of your Aquarian nature does suit you very well. The problem with the Aquarian nature is that when it gets into the individual, the personal, that then uh, there can be a kind of running away into the general, into the into the everyman quality. But this guy is doing it from the perspective of like an astrologist, the Aquarius, but he's actually sneak dissing Alan. This is what we call a sneak diss. Uh, it seems to me that with your fan base, uh, there's a lot of people that uh, appreciate what you have to offer. There's a lightness, but also a deep interest in the things underneath the surface of life. And uh, I've always tried in our, on our shows to just to kind of um, penetrate that. Penetrate that. He's wearing a wig. This man's wearing a wig. Uh, I've always tried in our... On
This man's wearing a wig. Interesting. The things underneath the surface of life, and uh, I've always tried it on. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I say about the ones on the telly? They're either wearing a wig, doing cocaine, or they're pedos. It's, I don't like. I'm a hairdresser, so I'm saying. I'm saying I'm, I do your hair. Can't do your wig. In the things underneath the surface of life, and uh, is this a weird sneak? This because he said the things underneath the surface penetrate. Is he like trying to give Alan like sneaky words that he's like you know sneaking in? I've always tried in our on our shows to just to kind of um, penetrate that a bit. It would be nice if you didn't fiddle around so much with your phone occasionally, and uh, even if you don't mean it, you know, feign the fact that you might be listening from time to time. Um, oh, I hope that wasn't a criticism. No, it's just I enjoy our fun, and um, I've also had various comments from people that I've sent out our shows to, and they've enjoyed them very much. They think we I have mean, a that was a nose-on criticism. You fiddle around with your phone too much. You said fiddle around as well. You said penetrate, fiddle around. My, what the fuck? A little bit of a, a repartee, repartee going on between us. Repartee, repartee. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, so they got oh, a quote here, I think, oh, from please. Neil Kinnock. He's an uh, interesting one. He said, uh, you cannot fashion a wit out of two half wits. I, I, that's Neil Kinnock. That's probably the best joke that he ever did. But I don't think we're two half wits. We're um, uh, people that in, enjoy this kind of thing and enjoy a kind of... With me and Alan, it's a wit and a half. Discussion. And I do wish you well on your um, newfound, as I say, expression of a deep element in yourself, probably, that has always wanted to do this kind of thing. So it looks like uh, it's only in two parts. Looks like this uh, video messaging only goes on a short time. So I'll just do this, as you know, both of us when we begin to get in front of a, of a think and talk for England, possibly. And also, that's a good thing that you have. You can't polish a turd, you're right, but you can roll it in glitter. Have a, a commonality um, uh, between yourself and other people's suffering. And I, I don't think you bring that out so much, or probably because you've been hurt by individual relationships. Um, but nevertheless, um, I still... He proposes that the reason Alan has a penchant for people that suffer on his channel is because he has some kind of empathy with the people that are suffering. And that the reason Alan doesn't display this is because he suffered so much, he doesn't want to display his own weakness and suffering on the internet. I disagree. I think Alan has a penchant for people who have suffered because he enjoys their suffering. I think that uh, what you have to offer is a, a genuinely good thing for many people that don't have a voice to, um, uh, to in which to express some of the things that are going on with them. So I wish you much success and good health on your birthday. Uh, I've got a few here. What was, oh yes, some historical events on your birthday, 1955. Bird's Eye Fish Fingers brought out their first ad. I didn't what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That was interesting. First woman news reader in 1955, launch of ITV. Well, Maybe you can launch on your 66th birthday something uh, greater. Now here you have a slightly different team now and I wish you all the best too. Sterling Moss wins the Grand Prix. Uh, what? That's pretty good and I think you share your birthday with King Henry VIII. So watch that, you've already worked through three wives. We don't want uh, any messes at the end of any more now, do we? Um, <laughs> First speeding fine in 1950 uh, in, in, on this date. Ah, uh, yes, here's a nice quote I got. Please cut through the crap, you strange man. Not, uh, remember this about marriage. Uh, Wilkie Collins, this was. I'm not against a hasty marriage where a mutual flame is fanned by an adequate income. Nice one, that. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Mick Jagger. Eon Foster. This is a just keep just keeps talking. It's time to stop. <laughs> great one. Perhaps it's one you could put on your show, Alan. If all economists were laid end to end, they'd never reach a conclusion. Um, finally, I think <laughs> here a rather one. I like. What what the fuck have economists got to do with it? 
like from Oscar Wilde. Listen, this is not a wedding speech. <laughs> Sometimes I think God in creating man somewhat overestimated his abilities. Yeah, I agree in terms of you and Alan. <laughs> so always a bit of fun on your show, Alan, but also a bit of depth. We so say we have this report. I hope that perhaps I can come on uh, uh, another time to... But you just insulted the man. <laughs> Uh, have ha have a go uh, it's been very very nice for me to as i say um, come on your show and do these kind of things and um, i'm sure everybody will wish me in wishing you an excellent day and um uh, yeah, continued success uh, by the way i had to look at your horoscope and your moon in aries and um, you do like to get ahead a bit too quickly so steady on on the getting ahead too quickly that and finally, if there ever really is, is ever a finally, Saturn is coming up to conjunction your sun in Aquarius, around about seven degrees Aquarius. And this means quite a lot of hard work for you, but I, I do think uh, having a look on last time, you know, you were improving your health, you were improving your uh, on, on internal image. So be prepared for a, uh, a sharp, uh, self-disciplined um, uh, year, this one. This is agony. I cannot listen to him talk anymore. How long was that? 29 to 36. Seven minutes. We want you to do a short message for Alan for his birthday. We're going to do a compilation. It's like signing a birthday card. If you could put your little bit in and we'll put it in the video. Absolutely certainly. Here's seven minutes where I insult the man directly about playing on his phone onto his horoscope. I'll do some, I'll tell you what, I can fill some time with some famous things that happened. I'll do some famous quotes. They don't even have to be relevant. I could just, famous quotes. <laughs> Where did that come from? No, I've got to knock it on the head now and go to bed. <laughs> kind of want to finish on something more pleasant than that, really. here with odd job and whoever this is scaramanga and the little fella i'm not watching any more of that alan birthday bollocks like there's so much quality alan to get through though isn't there eggs you know or go getting turtles if you go down uh, on the north side of the island that's where the turtles lay the eggs so <clears throat> you just dig them up and then you can get turtle wax out of that Tur you don't want to dig up turtle eggs <laughs> Just, no, I need something quiet just to finish off. Peaceful. Something quiet and peaceful. Like it's a palate cleanser. Like it's a mental dessert. I'll tell you what I like. Co-op members save. Shut up. La 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 It's the top of the... An octopus, no. It's the top of the list, though. Where's the Japanese guy that does it? Like, with... It's like there's a Japanese guy that... She's, like, absolutely dominating that miniature cooking. Well, I've searched for miniature cooking. That is the name of her thing, isn't it? But where's the Japanese guy? I don't want to see shrimps, do I? Uh, this is the guy I'm looking for, though. 
So let's see what they've got. I wonder if they've got anything vegan that doesn't involve animals, really, but... A minute, let's have a miniature donut, go on. Doing it with a little whisk. I always think it's nice if the little item they're whisking is also looks little, like, you know, if it doesn't, it, I can't want a big onion cut up with little things. I want a little tiny onion cut up with little things, you know. There's a little salt. Put that in. Or is that baking soda? That's oil. Is it? Milk. Little jug of milk. You're making a batter with the, the egg. Not vegan, but not using it all that. Pop that down there. Give that a little mix. Making a little dough, isn't it? Because it's a donut. Put the rest of the egg is in. Give that a little mix. This isn't even the channel I thought I was looking for. This is a different channel as well. There was a Japanese guy and he like made some really sharp knife, little tiny like stuff going on. It's a whole like you say, it's a whole genre now, so whoever gets to the top of the tree gets suggested to me, this will do. That's probably I don't know what that is. Icing sugar. I'm not telling you what any of it is. <laughs> That's icing sugar, surely. Giving that a mix. Take some more of this. That might be more flour. Maybe a part of it has to have baking soda or something. What are you doing with it now? Taking it out of that and putting it in the flour. What? Confused. Oh, you, that's you're gonna prove it. You're gonna let it prove. What's that? It's the fridge. It's got the little eggs in there. Pop it in there to prove. Wedge it in. Get rid of the table. I mean, you've got to be fair, right? You've got to be fair, right? This sort of stuff, when you're a kid as well, little tiny things, little tiny bottle of Coca-Cola, drink, little drinky, th those things were cool. Like little doll house things. Just to seeing them in miniature, like, they're cool. This is taking it to another level. Like, the dolls don't live there. You do everything in the miniature. It's kind of like an ASMR video as well. There we go, a little bit of flour on the table. It's much better for my brain. Yeah, some things don't quite fit, do they? It's a bit of a shame, but... There it is, a little bit of dough. Put it in a, they've done it in a ball. That's right. <laughs> That's the rolling pin. It's going to be a right faff doing that. Little tiny rolling pin is. Little tiny rolling pin is.
I, we'll see how relative the size of the donut comes out. I'm hoping they do really small donuts. I don't know how they're going to cook it. I don't even know how you cook donuts. You deep fry donuts. This is your no, brother's no, no, no. house. Shit, don't shout at me. Don't shout at me. Chuffing hell. They got a little candle in that. Oh, look. That's going on the pot. Don't know what it is. Oil probably deep frying the donuts. Little cut out here. That's quite satisfying. Quite enjoying this bit. In fact, that's the ASMR bit for me there. That's giving me the bit of the old ASMR tingle. Quite like the cutting them out. They're putting little holes in the middle. Look, that's clever. I don't know how you actually fashion donuts for reals. Don't know whether you do actually cut the holes out. Probably, probably do, don't you? This is going to turn out good. They're like little pineapple rings. You could make another three donuts out of that, I'm sure. Get rid of that, though. You don't want to be fucking around with that. There they go. Is it hot enough? It doesn't look hot enough. Stop putting them in. It's not hot enough. Okay, now it's hot enough. Little teeny tiny donut chuffers. Give them a little turn. I suppose it's hard to control the temperature in a little tiny saucepan like that. Don't spill it. Shaky hands. Here they come. They look nice. They come out really well. I thought you had can't remember how many you had now. There's just two going in now anyway. I wonder if we're going to glaze them. It'd be quite easy to, wouldn't it? Like the shit thing about this is... <laughs> shit, swearing. The shit thing about this is you do this, all of this, which is about the same amount of effort for making actual donuts, and then they're gone. Like, they're tiny. Are you going to eat them? They're just gone. It's like having you got, you've got three, um, three Weetos. <laughs> Could have just got some Weetos, or in America it'd be Cheerios. Just like you've got, <laughs> you've got five Cheerios. You probably want to do a really big batch. Yeah, we're gonna glaze them. Look. Careful. Oh. Choco donut. Careful. <laughs> Choco donut. There you go. Off camera there, something happened to fix the hole in the donut. This one's icing sugar, my guess is. Flip that bitch over. There you go. You're going to have to pop a hole in the... Oh, it's been done for you there, look. What are we doing now? Oh. Marbles donut. Little pattern. Marbled. I don't know if you'd even eat them. So what's the, like, you'd probably just eat, go and get yourself a normal donut after this and just be like, now I fancy donuts. <laughs> that one didn't come out as well. It's been fixed now. There's your last donut with the little tiny tongs. Icing sugar, just a simple dusting of icing sugar, classic. Careful, she, as long as she's an alcoholic. <laughs> Shaking hands. Now they're on the tray now. Presentation tray, fucking careful with that, you. What are you going to do, cut it in half? What's happening with this one? Oh, no. This is fiddly, bo fiddly bollocks. 
icing the donuts with little dots of pink. Look at that. Could have done without that. Put it back on there. Oh, now this one as well. Christ. I keep saying Christ. Please stop saying it. Wobbly hand bollocks. With this, the best way to do that is just go quick. Get it flowing and go, you know, smooth and quick. The slower and the more fiddly you try and make it, the more your hand shakes and fucks it up. Just nice and smooth and choo 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 choo. It's gone all right though, that's gone all right. That'll do now. Don't overdo it with the pink. Going on the display plate now. Probably could have put them onto the display plate earlier, but because you put them back on the tray and then you're taking them from the tray to the display plate, you could just put them straight on the display plate. I suppose that's dry, didn't they? Extra, it's extra, it's extra washing up. You see, <laughs> it's not going to take very long. Glass, little glass. Little platis. Bring them over. There you go. We're going to sit at this little table together and have a little miniature donut together. There's only one plate, so I'll have the display plate. It's nice. I like that. I'm happy with that. 